Hello there. Do you play backgammon? Oh, maybe you don't, but you might want to learn. Um, but I don't know if you've got this problem with your backgammon set, if you've got one, and if you haven't, you might want to make one that yeah, uses some of these little improvements that I've got in mind. So yeah, this is the design I came up with um, for, you know, the, the, what do you call them? Men? Pieces? I don't know. Uh, the piece holder, I think. That sounds very, it's like in troubled times, we have a piece holder. Um, and so, yeah, I'm back to on shape uh, I, because, yet again, um, Autodesk are changing their rules, so doesn't seem to be any advantage in in using um, fusion so back to on shape I've tried to use uh, FreeCAD oh my goodness that's a nightmare uh, <laughs> just seems such hard work um, but uh, you know I've given it a go but anyway moving on um, so this is the design uh, let's just go back in the old history there. Uh, yeah, so this is the original sketch. Uh, I suppose we should look at it that way, which is just um, to dimension the, the hole uh, in the backgammon set. Um, then, you know, a couple of extrudes, a little base for that. And then the, the sides. And then on to designing the actual, you know, kind of holder. So I'm going to model the pieces. Uh, let's make that sensible. Uh, that's a bit better, isn't it? Um, and over extrude it so it's bigger than the pieces. Um, this is that is. I mean, I, I started off with it the same, and then I, I realised, oh yeah, I'm going to have to have it a bit bigger because I want it to, to overlap. Just a little fillet there, and then tilt it at an angle. Uh, which means it's no longer in the right place. Move it forward so it's now right butting up against the edge of the, the hole. Uh, and then just repeat. And that's why I want to over extrude it because I want to, um, you know, cut away as it were. Um, now let's, part one would be that one I expect. Yeah, it's jolly good. So we hide that. And so you can see we've now got the sort of the inverse as it were going back to the original extrude up from there the size of the hole same size of the hole and then we're going to trim it with the boolean and that's basically our thing and then the usual thing just you know a little bit of tidying up the old filleting got to do a bit of filleting this is tiny so a lot of that won't show in the final print but Makes me feel good inside, you know. If it were to be properly produced in a die cast or whatever, you know, it'd, uh, it'd be nice to have those little smooth edges. Um, so let's print it out and see how it works. So, here it is, hot off the printer as it were, and um, I quite like the, the sort of wood grain effect that you get, can you see that? Yeah, that's coming through reasonably well, isn't it? Um, and so the idea is obviously we stack up the pieces, uh, and the first one we've noticed, yeah, it doesn't really want to balance, for reasons that are fairly obvious, you know, it's not halfway up the, the thing. But, you know, it kind of does. And once you've got a couple there, it's not too bad. And then, you know, it gets better and better as you go. Um, so, we've been using it and um, it's all right. Obviously got my measurements right, which is nice. It's nice when you manage that, you get your measurements right and things look half decent. And it kind of works. That's kind of what I thought it would do. Um, it's okay. Um, let's take these off for a moment. Let's shut it now. 
give it a good rattle. Here's the set, pretty much as you saw it before. But um, you'll notice the silver is now white. Yes, I bought a proper pen. Um, and I noticed in the video that, that when I was writing some of the black ones, because of the lighting, you know, it sort of like they weren't very visible. Um, but, you know, in real life, they're, they're pretty clear, actually. And the black ones worked out all right. Um, the white ones, well... Put some white outlines to those black dots because the black wasn't very uh, different than the reddy, browny, maroony, whatever colour you'd like to call that. Um, yeah, and as you can see, the, the white paint hasn't, it's not quite so good. So we've got to do some more. Um, I never thought this would be a three or four uh, episode series, but yeah, it's looking that way, isn't it? Um, we're going to do something about the dice. Oh, and, um, you know, I've worked out that I found another dice that we've got. We can play a game called Yahtzee. Um, which turns out to have got a slightly checkered and interesting history. Um, I designed up some scoring cards. Yeah. I'll tell you about that as well sometime. <laughs> 